This is it guys, I finally made my first pose corrective tool. It's the little one here. So, well I spent the last day uh, finalizing this. Uh, I didn't work too much on this yet, but this is like the first basic version of this. And it uh, works already in its uh, basic settings. So, I've got a little bit of he headaches today on, on the finalizing process, but in the end it went all good and it was just like, I was impatient, I wanted to get this finished, and I started to make some errors, and uh, I got angry because I couldn't find the errors, and uh, you know, every time, uh, every day shit. But this is it, finally it works. And so let me explain that a little bit how this works. Um, on this mesh I have no corrective blend shapes yet on this rig, so maybe I could show you how this tool works with uh, one or two examples. Um, here you of course will plug in the blend shape nodes, this is the node the, where all of the corrective blend shapes are going to be stored in. Uh, our corrective blend shape mesh, where this node is in. Our deforming mesh, which is this mesh with the skin cluster. Um, our pose name. Very important to not forget to set a pose name. I'm going to like make a function where uh, that prompts because I always forget to put something in here. So that prompts uh, when here still set uh, to default, and that says me, dude, make a blend shape name. Um, so yeah, and then we can mirror this. So if this is on, it, it's going to mirror the entire system automatically, and that's it. Just as simple. Um, so let me just show you a little bit how this works on two examples. Maybe um, let's like make the armpit blend shape. One oh, is really important. So let's raise the arm up to a pose where I would say Duh, this is the armpit. Okay, um, a bit more higher here. Okay, select the driving joints and of course make a blend shape name a pose name I need to tell this arm pit arm out so this is the armpit when the arm is stretched out um, we select the joint and then we set create PSD setup it creates a little setup of locators and uh, some nodes that calculates the angle of the joint to the basic to the base angle and from there determines the approximation to the pose. Um, yeah, so now that's done, let's get rid of the joints. Get even rid of the controls, we don't need those for now. Uh, yeah, so the locators are set, our pose is set, let's start character sculpting. Here we go, this is our new mesh. It created our mesh with no input, so we can uh, do our modifications in uh, world space and don't have to bother with joint orientations and local space vertex manipulating and trying to tweak them via the via the shared tweak nodes so let's uh, Normally I would spend a little more time shaping these, but for the sake of this presentation, let's just do some fast, and uh, pretty fast sculpting. Well, I want to see the bicep attached in here, like this a little. Okay, shape doesn't look correct from now. Let me like push all of this a little lower here. Let me push this here out a little. Now let's sharpen this. Oops. Let's sharpen this edge a little. Oh, 
Okay, I'd say that looks okay. It's not perfect, but it's just for demonstration. So once our shape looks good, we just hit the last button by corrective and connect to the system. It thinks a little bit, takes a while. And now it's done. Which means we have back our original mesh. You can see the pose is still there, the corrective. But when we now move the locator uh, this down, you can you can clearly see the pose is gone. So this pose will only trigger when the arm is in that cer certain position. That means even in rotation, you can you can clearly see how the definition starts and goes away. And this is of course then automatically mirrored on the other side. One downtime of the script still is, uh, of course, I need to. I don't have to. I don't. I'm not allowed to like take the whole props for this because the current algorithm for extracting the uh, the actual shapes from the skin cluster mesh is not my own. I use the um, the extract deltas plugin from Brave Rabbits uh, something. Let me just pull out. I'm going to post their website on the video description so you can check out what they do. It's pretty cool. And yeah, the one downtime of that is that their current algorithms do not uh, work smoothly with blend shapes in the deforming mesh, which means that my script actually before uh, activating the sculpt mesh deactivates the all of the blend shapes, all the input blend shapes, which is a little pretty hard uh, fail because you know I can only sculpt like one shape, and if I then do want to sculpt another shape for another pose in that area, or maybe not in another pose, but maybe I want to like have another shape nearby, and I want to correct the shape from that shape, so this is not going to work. So this is no script for uh, for that. So the algorithm is not good there for you. But as soon as um, uh, the algorithm gets updated or I make my own algorithm. I mean, it's not too hard, but I don't have too much time to get into those uh, maths now between work and stuff. But yeah, so then that's that. And apart from that, oh, this is, works pretty good. So let's make another shape maybe for this part of the knee here. Uh, Put the knee like like this, maybe. Let's feel the joints. Let's call this shape uh, lower leg bent off or something like that. Oh uh, yeah, and create our setup. Start our cutting. I want to see these uh, these things here coming out. Add some definition here. Very nitpicky shapes here. Let's smooth these out and pull them out a little bit more. Pull out these, pull them out these. Let's check how this looks like. Ah, uh, doesn't look good at all. Let's move this here. Let's pull these guys out.
I want to see more like this kind of shape. Looks like pure shit. Uh, but anyway, before I now spent half an hour trying to scrap this guy correctly, or maybe I think I know what's up. I need to get the definition more to the top. better here. See that? That's what I wanted. No need to do this in here. Uh, okay, let's give it a go on that. Doesn't look perfect at all, but anyway. Uh, so let's say we would be satisfied with this. We would now hit by corrective. And hopefully this works. Yeah, you see. This is our shape coming in. And of course on both sides so pretty good script um, I may be posting the script itself someday not now because it's not always it's not almost it's not finished at all and yeah some of those yeah basically maybe later We'll see. Uh, until then, have a nice time, and I'm going to post another video soon uh, to show a little bit of muscle setup on this character. It's not all, it's not muscle rigged, but I'm just uh, showing the basic layout that I want to like introduce for other characters. Maybe not this, but stuff like that. So anyway, see you next time.